Okay, I'm going to show you how to create two gears of different sizes but with teeth that are the same size using just circles and squares and the rotate tool and uh, merge and subtract. So first make sure you have smart guides on, it's going to make it a lot easier. Step one is to use the ellipse tool and let's create the base for the two gears bigger circle and a smaller circle then use the smart guides to find the center press alt and shift on your keyboard uh, and to create a circle that's aligned with the center of the first one then use the selection tool grab the center of that first one and hold down alt and move it over to the other circle so now these two gears have the same size in a ring okay highlight the selection tool and then go over and click subtract what this does is this creates a ring out of these two circles do it for the other one as well subtract okay now we're going to use the rectangle tool we're going to find the center of the circle and move up and just beyond the outer circle and we're going to start creating a rectangle and press alt on your keyboard and then once you touch the path we can and create a width that you like how about something like that and we'll let go and let me just shrink this just a little bit and uh, maybe just a little bit more okay so now this is going to make the tooth and we're going to rotate this around the center of this circle several times and we're going to put this square also around the other gear so grab the the center of this press alt so we just make a copy find the center and move straight up from there you can go beyond the circle which is fine we just need to grab the anchor and move straight down until we touch the circle okay so now we have two squares that are straight above the centers of the circles next we select the square, click on rotate, press alt on the keyboard, and click in the center of the circle. A little window is going to pop up asking us how far we want to rotate that square around the edge of this circle. I'm going to change this so it just says 20 degrees, and I'm going to click on copy. And what that does is it creates a new square rotated by 20 degrees. And before I click on anything, I'm going to right click, go down to transform, and press transform again. And so it just created another one. And you can keep doing that, or you could use the shortcut control D. So I'm going to press control D several times until we get all the way around the circle. And we filled it up. And now we can do it again over here. Click this one, click the rotate tool, press alt and click in the center of the circle. And here, since it's a smaller circle, we need to rotate by a larger angle. Let's go with 45 degrees, copy, and now just press control D several times again. Okay, now highlight one of your gears fill it with a certain color. Now you have to do this for the next step to work. We fill it with a certain color. Let's get rid of the lines. And next we're going to merge. So click on merge. And oh yeah, also group it. And now you have one gear. Do the same with the other one. Highlight that one. Get rid of the lines. Fill it with some color and click merge and group and there you have it now you have two gears with teeth that fit together